anything foreign, <coughs> and that is, if you check on the Uganda, and probably in the beginning of the world, in the 1800s, <coughs> they were producing a certain product much more, and Rwanda is producing something else. I always give very good examples with the oil of Nigeria and the cocoa of Ghana. And they were exchanging, that is what you call butter trade. And they would be giving out the oil to these guys to use and the others being given the other. And that is where forex trading started, way back in 1800. Very important. That is the study of forex trade. Because exchange of the commodities in terms of butter trade was beginning of forex. But when we got the first paper money, and that is what you call fiat, 240 years ago, that is when we got into what you call forex trade, really, which is happening now. And any time you are crossing borders, for those of you who have gone beyond the uh, Rebusia border, Ukifika pale, umepata wajamaa wa Uganda wamekushikia pesa ya Kenya, ya Uganda. I'm trying to look for Uganda money. Bandos. Pale kwa bora. Na wewe unapeana ya Kenya. That is for exchange. But this local local uh, currencies uh, which are not which have got no value are not used much. So we use the dollar. And when you use a dollar, when you learn um, a debit, and you learn Kigali, you learn South Africa, you're going to get, you give your dollar, and you'll be given a bill. This is for Ethiopia, okay? It's got bill. It's very expensive, four times your value, okay? Then, <clears throat> when you get to Zambia, you'll get Zambian kwacha, and you part with your dollar. That is foreign trade. I just want to make sure that everybody seated here understands. Because if you come out of this place today and you've not understood the benefits of foreign trade, it's for the billionaires, but we are bringing it down to everybody. So that you can also plan to become billionaires. When you get to Buaris land, this is uh, Ogamani. It's called Naira. Okay? I'll, I don't want to spend a lot of time on them, but this is Malawi and Kwacha. We have Zambian kwacha and we have Malawian kwacha. This one is 10 times value of your Kenya money. If you have your 1,000 and you want to convert it into this, you divide by 10. This, you don't even talk about the value, it's much worse than in Uganda. It's called Malawian kwacha. And then this is Indonesia and it's called Ruby. So, these all currencies I'm talking about is to tell you that every time you are flying out of your country and you are going into any other part of the world, you must be carrying hard currency with you, and that is the US dollar, which you are going to use at the airports and the forex bureaus within the towns and any of the hotels where you live, they will be having um, a cashier who is also changing for you. And that one is a must. There are many, I don't want to dwell on that, because by God's grace, when I did what I was telling you here, one of my goals I told you that was to do what you call block trotting. And the block trotting is just stepping in every country like it is a village. <laughs> and by God's grace, I moved to more than 50 countries on my second year in network marketing and I happen to have visited so many places that I have currencies from all. If I show you my other bags, I still have a lot of money. Sometimes when you're busy, you will not remember at the airport to change the money. I know for those of you who have flown out, you've come back with a lot of currencies. Now, having said that, you know, I told you guys, my time limit here was two to three years. And on my second year, I prepared myself to have my private jet, which is coming now. With you guys, we're not going to fail because my private jet is about. 
I've been actually checking on uh, pricing and uh, you know the most luxurious ones so that I can have some bedrooms. Ili mkuchoka kama tunaenda pahali, kila mmoja wetu anachukua fuku na anaenda kula. Nice, nice. There is one guy in network marketing called Eric Wood. The guy who started the 90-day game plan, which we are doing now. And the guy is 